He is a singer songwriter who teaches musicians and singers the art of writing songs. Now he has released his first album in several years titled A Movie Night and this weekend is the release of that album and joining us in studio John D. Lamb. Thank you for being here. How are you? Thank Good to see you. you. Thank you. Thank you for having Teach us. Teach me how to write a song. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're known for teaching how to write songs. How did that play into this album? Well, actually, I'm more of a director of writing retreats, <laughs> and I've been doing the songwriting retreat for about 24 years now, every November up in Harbor Springs. And so everybody writes a song up there, including me. And so this album actually contains a lot of songs that were written up in Harbor Springs at my retreats for Very songwriters. Cool. Oh, are mm -hmm. they protest songs? Are they folk songs? <laughs> are they, what, what kind of songs are we talking about? Some are about? rock, some are folky, some are love ballads, some are humorous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still remember a song from my Parks and Rec class in college. Oh, oh. you can't eat the oysters in New Haven Harbor. You can't eat the oysters that live in the bay. I can continue, but I'm not. You could join us. Uh, I was going to say. Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Pull uh -huh. one of Jason's song in. That's hilarious. So, when you, what do you think of when you hear singer songwriter? Uh, I think of folks like Lennon and McCartney and Billy Joel and, and James Taylor and. A lot Jason of the stuff. Carr. I think yeah. about the 70s uh, mostly, kind of 60s and 70s when it started happening. You know, the first people that started writing songs and recording them as well. That's what I think of. Do you think we need to bring more of that back where singers actually write their own music? Well, I, there is a, a large group of people that are still doing that, although we don't hear them so much on the pop charts. Mm -hmm. But there is a whole bunch of us that are traveling around playing, you know, the B rooms, the C rooms. Doing the good work. Yes. Doing the uh -huh. good work. Yeah, that was, 70s really were a heyday. I mean, you know, like John Denver and Jim Croce, you know, right. the storytellers, yes. you know, the suspenders, and the uh, <laughs> guy on the bass, they're like, boom, 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 boom. What's right. coming up with the show? Tell us about that. Uh, well, Saturday, uh, September 22nd, this Saturday, we're performing at Mama's Coffee House. And uh, I'd like to introduce my producer of the record. His name is Jim Beiser, fantastic songwriter himself, great guitar player. He produced my record. And he also is the director of Mama's Coffee House music series at the Birmingham Unitarian Church in Bloomfield Hills, which is located on Woodward near Lone Pine Road. The show starts at 8 o'clock. And we have a warm up act, uh, which includes John Sinclair, the uh, blue scholar poet, uh, with uh, Tino Gross uh, also backing him up on guitar. And they'll do a short set, and then we'll come up and do our thing. All right, great. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you singing for us today? Um, I'm doing a song that, well, the working title of this song was Vega, but on the record, which comes out actually tomorrow on iTunes and, and all over, uh, this song is called I Think I'm in Love with somebody who might be from Brooklyn. And ah, I hear you're from Brooklyn. Yeah, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Those right. Brooklyn girls will do it to you. Be careful. Right. <laughs> I, you'll hear the whole title in the song. All right, sounds all right. good. All Take right. it away. Okay, good. Thanks. Are you ready to go? Are we on? She's the brightest star in the constellation. I'm blowing bazooka. And the alpha in this equation is my omega. Well, I've never been a boy, but the girl has imagination. Oh, Luca, you're a sad song. Why do I feel funny? I think I'm in love with the Susan Vega. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mama. Hey, Papa. It's your Natalia. Here's something, there's something I got to tell you. I think I might be, yeah, I think I might be a folk singer. I think I might be, yeah, I think I might be a folk singer. Oh, yeah. 